Okay, got something a little different for you today. You might notice that I'm not in front of the camera. I'm behind the camera today. Not just behind the camera, but the camera is actually mounted inside my helmet like this, as you can see in the mirror. Um, so yeah, this is something I've kind of wanted to do for a while. Um, about a year now, I guess, since uh, I saw Mordet13 for the first time. Uh, he does videos driving his bike in Taiwan uh, with his camera mounted inside his helmet like this. And uh, I've always wanted to do uh, a video like that, uh, just a short drive around my town. Uh, Mordet's actually kind of technically not on YouTube anymore. Uh, I did a video about that when he got wrongly suspended from YouTube. I'm going to put a link to that in the side over there if you want to look for it. Um, but he's, he's still under the name 13 more that on YouTube here where he's just posting reposting some old videos but he's now mainly on live video where he's actually the number one most subscribed person of all time on live video now so I guess uh, getting kicked off of YouTube uh, kind of worked out for him because now he's like owning live video over there so anyway enough of this talk I'm gonna cut the video now to me driving my bike Actually, before we got to the bike, I almost forgot one thing. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be wondering, is this not blocking my vision? No, it's not blocking my vision too much. I can still see perfectly over the camera. There's just a little bit of the camera that's cut out, obviously, down here, but uh, it's not that much, and I've actually tested it already, and I can drive my bike perfectly fine like this. Um, secondly, how did I mount the camera in here? It's just put the camera in. The um, extendable lens on the camera kind of helps to keep it steady, on the left side uh, to keep it steady on the right side i've got a uh, bit of velcro material going across on the bottom of my uh on the inside of the helmet here which is kind of acting like a um, platform i guess to help keep this side up because it was falling down before i put that in there and just in case if the camera were to fall out the uh, strap of the camera is passed through the strap of the helmet so if it does fall out it's not going to hit the ground um so I think that should cover any possible questions I should get about that. So, yeah, once again, enough of the intro, and <laughs> let's get to the road then. Okay, so this is where I'm going to start the video. We're at the Welcome to Tremor sign, which is where I live. I am not starting near my house, and we are not passing near my house at all. Okay, so just in case anyone's wondering that. The only thing I'm kind of worried about doing this video is um, wind interfering with the microphone. So what I've done is, is something that more that 13 has done, or said he's done before, is he's is put some uh, sellotape or scotch tape over the microphone on the camera. So hopefully that will reduce the amount of wind being blown into the mic and won't screw up the sound too much. Uh, hopefully. If not, I don't know, maybe I'll just put a, a soundtrack over this video and uh, maybe just re-add what I'm saying uh, using a microphone uh, dubbing in the sound or something. So, um, yeah, this is my bike anyway. I'm sure one of the first questions that's going to be asked to me is, what kind of bike do I drive? This is a Suzuki Marauder. Uh, the CC on the bike is 125. It's not a big bike or anything. It's the first bike I've ever had. I've had it for about five years now, and the bike is six years old. I am the second person to own the bike. Uh, so yeah, I've had it for five years, and um, yeah, I guess the only reason why I haven't got a new one is because I can't really afford one. I can just afford to keep this one going. So this is a busy road here. Um, some kid waving at me from a car. I don't know if it was someone I know or anything. Yeah, this is a busy road. This is the main road that leads into the city, uh, Waterford City. And uh, as you can see, it's a very bright day out today. Uh, so a lot of people are going to the beach because Tremor is a beachside town. Uh, about the name of the town, actually, I might as well say. Tremor, the Irish of Tremor is Trovor. Obviously, not much of a difference in the name between English and Irish. Um, the meaning of Trovor, Tro is Irish for... Uh, beach or strand, and um, Vor or Moor is Irish for big. So technically, the name of the town where I am from translates to big beach. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're kind of good that they decide to go with Tremor instead of big beach when they translate it to English. You can see there's some roadworks going on there. So. It's a little bit windy here now. Um, another reason why I kind of wanted to do this video for a long time, but uh, I was hoping to get it done at the start of the summer. 
but really we haven't really started getting a summer until now which is the end of the summer this is the last weekend of the summer now and uh, yeah uh, it, the start of the summer up until now was kind of really bad with, with the weather and I really didn't want to be doing this video um, on a rainy day or anything and any days that I did have when it wasn't raining and it was kind of decent weather I was actually already busy doing something else so I wasn't able to obviously do the video because this is going to take me a while <laughs> and it'll probably be split off into a few parts as well so uh oh, of course! <laughs> sorry about that um, I found that sound effect and uh, screen graphic there a while ago on the internet and I just couldn't resist putting it into this video I hope I didn't scare anyone or anything with that so yeah here we go just keep going uh, so yeah when I cut the video up into its various parts because I'm uh, kind of slow traffic here because uh, uh, I'm sure it's going to be a bit long uh, I'm going to cut it up like the various, par various parts I'm going to use that uh, graphic and uh, sound effect just to break, help break the video up I'm actually not even sure if the camera is on god I hope it is <laughs> It's kind of bright out, so the light is kind of blocking me seeing the screen, if it's on or not. I'll have to check that in a minute. God, I hope it's on. Uh, okay, so we're in the town here now, and uh, we're going to take a left at this roundabout. We're going to go down to the beach first. That's the uh, Gaelic club there where Hurling and Gaelic football are played the two national Irish sports. sports. We passed the uh, football or soccer club there a while ago, uh, I forgot to talk about it, I actually used to play football there uh, back in my younger school days, uh, I wasn't very good but uh, I think in the like five or six seasons that I played, uh, I scored one goal and I was a midfielder as well, so uh, I think I, I started a, a fair few games but uh, I don't know, I was, I was more of a playmaker probably, maybe not, maybe I just wasn't so good, anyway yeah, we're coming down here. Now, Chamor, as I said, it's a beachside town, so it's a very touristy town. I'll point out some things as we come along now. Um, on the left here is one of the caravan parks. Oh, one on the right there as well is a caravan park. Uh, if anyone likes staying in caravans. And there's also uh, some self-catering accommodation there. That one's called Pebble Beach there. That's actually very good. It's fairly new. These white buildings here are kind of old. I think it's called Holiday Village or something like that. Uh, but the Pebble Beach ones are really nice, uh, they're new, I say new, but they're like 10 years old probably at this stage. <laughs> but they are the newest ones that have been put up there. Uh, there's another caravan park there as you can see. For anyone who wants to bring their own caravan uh, or tent or whatever to stay in Tremor. As you can see there's a lot of cars here today. As I said, the summer's not been so great so far this year, so people are obviously trying to uh, get to the beach whatever they can. What I'll do is I'm going to take a left here. The main beach is over to the right there, but I'm going to take a left. I just to uh, give a little drive around this area. These are some apartments here, again, which are obviously very close to the beach, and we got a few shops and fish and chip shops and takeaways and stuff. There's a new um, spa that was there. It's uh, only opened up this year. I uh, forgot to talk about that either. Car park there. There used to be a dump there, uh, but uh, they've closed the dump and uh, obviously taken away all the rubbish, so it's kind of nice now. No smell anymore. Where will I go, actually? Hmm. Okay, we'll go this way. So yeah, the beach is probably very, very full up. Obviously there's no car parking space left. I was kind of hoping I might get off the bike here and get a look at the beach. Let's see. Maybe if I circle around and go, um, go further down, I might find some space where I can park the bike. I think if I start going that way, as you can see there now, it looks uh, fairly busy. I don't think I'll be able to weave my way through that traffic. OK, 
Okay, we're going to circle around again just to I'll go down a bit further. It's a, honestly, as I was saying about the name earlier, the name translates to Big Beach. The beach is fairly big. I think it's like three or four kilometers long or something like that. I don't know. I forgot to check. Go down it this way. Uh. Can I go on off road here? Uh. I'll do is just park the bike here. Whoa, very bumpy. Uh, this is not an off road vehicle. <laughs> just park the bike here. Okay. Nice and quiet there without the engine going. <laughs> Did I lock that? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, go up the steps here. Okay, it's not much steps, but uh, it's a walkway, nonetheless. So yeah, this front part of the beach is kind of stony. It goes all the way down there. The tide is actually in. This is fairly close to high tide now. Uh, don't know if you can see the building there with the yellow roof, but uh, that's kind of like a, there's a storm wall there, and that's pretty much a high tide. Uh, low tide, it actually goes out pretty far. The beach doesn't slope down too much. It's just flat. So at low tide, it actually, the water goes out pretty far, so you could actually be out of breath before you even get in the water, actually try to get to the water. Uh, Down that way there's uh, sand hills, but they're mostly covered in grass now. Maybe in the future video will go down that way.